With the release of the new M2 and M2 Pro Mac Minis, Apple yesterday quietly removed the last Intel Mac Mini from their website. Although the M1 Mac Mini had already been available for over two years, Apple continued to sell the 2018 Intel-based Mac Mini alongside it. However, at a starting price of $1,099 or €1,359 for a model with an i5 and 8GB of RAM, rising to €1,589 for 16GB, it didn't exactly scream value for money. The 8th gen Coffee Lake architecture that it was based on was approaching 5 years old by the time Apple removed it, having first appeared in 2018. Its retirement ended almost 17 years of Apple selling Intel Mac Minis. It began with the first Intel Mac Mini, the Mac Mini 1.1, being announced all the way back in February of 2006 to replace the aging PowerPC G4 machines. The ability to dual boot both Windows and Mac OS, the attractive price point and the diminutive size helped the Mac Mini establish itself as an affordable entry point into the Apple ecosystem especially for users switching from Windows. For much of the Mac Mini's life, Apple released yearly updates. These were mainly incremental processor upgrades and changes to the port selection, but there were more significant changes along the way, such as the switch from polycarbonate to solid aluminium in 2010, and the removal of the optical drive in 2011. 2012 saw a two-year gap before the release of the 2014 model. And this was followed by four years without a new model or any explanation from Apple appearing, leading many to speculate that the Mac Mini line was about to be ditched entirely. But finally in 2018, we saw an updated model appear with Thunderbolt 3 and a new space grey colour, which is the same model that Apple was selling up until yesterday. For the release of the M2 Mac Mini, many had hoped for a redesign. Given that the majority of the size of the previous M1 Mac Mini had been empty space. Apple isn't known for unutilized space in their computers, usually preferring to make them as small and as thin as possible, even to the point of sacrificing performance to do so. So the size of the 2023 Mac Mini is something of an anomaly. It could definitely have been made thinner and taken up a smaller footprint. It may have been considered small in 2010, but by mini PC standards of 2023, the Mac Mini isn't all that mini at all. The design has now been largely unchanged for the last 12 years, since the 2011 model, which itself was nearly identical to the 2010 model apart from the removal of the optical drive. With the Intel Mac Mini gone, that leaves the Xeon-based Mac Pro as the only remaining Intel computer in Apple's lineup. The current Mac Pro was released in 2019 and an Apple Silicon version with an all new design is expected sometime this year.